Hello, and welcome back to Hidden Gems and Other Oddities with me, Darcy Bits. Today, we have an hour with Self Checkout Unlimited. I don't know what this is, which is normal for this show. I don't know why I sound surprised about it. But uh, from my understanding, it's kind of a walking sim ish thing. It's like an abandoned mall. Probably I'm never going to talk to a character. I'm just going to walk around and look at things. Cool. I'm into that. Um, I've played probably like no walking sims. If you're thinking of a walking sim right now and you're going to be like, Hey, have you ever played this? The answer is probably no. And I don't know why. Like they seem really up my alley. It's like, just explore a space. I love exploration. Just discover story through interact, like, like, environmental storytelling. That's awesome. I love all that stuff. Movement through a world is, like, probably my favorite, like, game mechanic, if you would call it that. My favorite gameplay is just moving through an environment. And yet, and yet, Walking Sims. Not a thing I have experienced that much. And I don't know why. Breakfast King joins us in chat. Is self-checkout just looking at a mirror? I... That took me way too long to get. Yeah, we're gonna check out ourselves. Alright. <laughs> Let's see what this game's all about. I don't know. I have been told, though, that there's some photosensitivity warnings. So keep that in mind. What? Alright, so all of that I wasn't moving. Um, that was just them getting up. I probably could have moved my head prior to just now, but this is me now. Alright. Jump rope. A phone cord! I was wrong. That's a phone cord? That's a big phone cord. A phone cord? What is it doing here? Alright. Yeah, let's look at things and talk in a voice. I've been thinking about this a lot lately. Can I pick this? Wait, why is my hand up here? Oh, I can sit down. You know, we could just sit down. You wake up in an abandoned mall after hours. And just sit on the bench and wait, right? That's a pretty reasonable thing to do. But not a very interesting thing to do. So let's go. Wait, can I get up? How do I... <laughs> I mean, I could just keep sitting. I could just keep sitting. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know why that 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 tickled me so much. I wasn't expecting a prompt of get off the bench or keep sitting. That's amazing. Can I run? I can. I can't jump though, which is disappointing. I feel short. I think I'm not supposed to feel short. If I look at this bench, I don't think that's a Am I short? Am I short in this game? I... How tall is a bench? Like, if you're sitting in a bench, this is about where your head might be. But I'm standing. Am I a child? For some reason, I don't feel like a child. Like, I feel like my walking would be different. My, my, my pace would be different. My stride would be different. But... I also feel very short. Yeah, look at this. Look at this doorway. I must be a child, right? Okay. Well, I'm going to I'm going to imagine that I'm a child. That brings me back to another point. I was talking before. I st I started a sentence where I was saying, I've been thinking about my voice work in these videos, and until I have like a face to go off of, I tend to be very like, "Hi, I'm a person. This is my person voice." And that's not super interesting. The strange box seems to be locked by something. I didn't read it fast enough. 
seems to be locked by a word. So I want to try intentionally doing different voices, I guess, is my point. Whoa. It's me. I'm, I'm little Timmy. Whoa. I don't feel like... It's weird. I don't feel like a child either. Like, I feel like... I think everything is just a bit weirdly... I feel like this... I'm short. This bench is even shorter, though. Whereas probably I'm supposed to just be a normal side? I, I don't have a clue. It's hard to see. Everything's really dark in this game. Can't get past here yet. Wait, you can't? So that's not me talking to myself. Wait, if that's not me talking to myself. What was it when I looked at that box? A strange box seemed to be locked by a word. I don't think this is me. I don't think this is me. Am I a confused teenager? Suggests Breakfast King. Maybe. It is so dark. Okay, I guess I'll head back where I came from because that seems locked. I might. I feel like I should be able to jump. It'd be amazing if it turns out I can jump this whole time. It's just they didn't make it space and I just assumed. That would be great. Alright, I need to check a couple things. One, can I make it brighter? I can. Okay, sweet. Movement, WASD, shift, run, eat, interact. Alright. Alright, did I make it too bright? Maybe. But this is, I think this is going to read better on screen. <laughs> Maybe you should play this game darker than this. I don't know, but... Alright, what's over here? I, I, I sort of looked at one thing in this whole... Look at me! I'm I'm Look how tiny I am! Has this ever been used? Ah! It's missing a cord! I mean, I did find a cord. Do I have to go back so that I can pick it up? There was a cord on the bench, but are you sure it's safe to go back there? What? Why would I not think that? Okay, I think this is a weird voice in my head. Like, that's not me talking, because I'm saying you. Now, I mean, I might just be... I... Before I go any further, that line sounded very, like, horror movie-esque. Like, are you sure it's safe to go back? Like, for some reason, I should think I wasn't. And I did read the Itch page. By the way, I picked this up on Itch. It was part of a bundle from recently. You might already own this game if you want to check it out yourself. Yada, 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 yada. Anyway. Um, it specifically said there are some scary parts. It is not a horror game. Um, so, again, there was a photosensitivity warning at the beginning of the game. Um, there is... I don't know if they said there was jump scares or not, but maybe be on edge for that in case that's something you don't handle well. Anyway, I'm gonna pick this up. Why couldn't I just pick that up in the first place? That's so silly. I mean, it could be a thing where it's like, hey, you can't pick up everything, you're not an adventure game protagonist, and that's fair. You don't just carry everything you see in real life. Well, that was creepy. Uh, that's probably just the building settling. Or maybe a furnace starting. I don't know why I went to get that phone cord, though. Like... Oh! I want to use the phone. I kind of forgot about phones, I guess. <laughs> oh, the game has taken over. I don't have any control. That poster wasn't here before. You sure it's not a horror game? This is freaking me out. What? 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 Oh, I can move my head again. Advance? Defend. Well, I'm gonna see what's this way. I wonder how far they'll let me walk. Oh, what's that? 
Huh. Yeah, there's something at the edge of my vision there. Oh, I hit a wall? Yes, okay. So yes, there's there's just a box and they just kind of don't want you to explore it and good, that's fine. I'm I much prefer an invisible wall than them letting me walk forever. So, advance or defend? What is this? What's the middle? Huh. Well, I don't know what these mean, so I'm going to advance. Always say yes. Always move forward. It is a video game. If you want to stop playing, stop playing. We are going to advance. But I'm also going to look over there. Despite what I just said, it's giving me feedback. Which means I could maybe get some feedback from over here. Without actually choosing it. water huh well this certainly sounds much more pleasant I'll definitely give them that no we must we must march forward it is a game uh, I didn't expect that okay a box here this is why I take twice as long as anyone else to finish a game. <laughs> not anyone else. I know I'm not the only person in the twice as long as the average segment, but... What the... This is cool. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's cool. Alright. Nourish. Challenge. I don't think I need to challenge, right? Between advancing and defending, advance. That is moving forward. That is action. But nourish can be just as much action as challenge is. Challenge is just like... What's the word? Well, we'll see what they sounds like before I walk into it. I didn't expect that sound. Alright, what's nourish sound like? Hey, remember when I turned up the brightness in this game? <laughs> wow! That is, that is some bright stuff. I'm not a fan of this. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of music boxes. I don't know why. Huh. Well, I was gonna choose Nourish, but I'm more... Maybe I'll just choose the sound I'm most drawn to. Well, if that was the case, you would have chosen defend last time. That's a good point. Hmm. What should I choose? Oh. Let's go. Challenge. Okay. More space. Okay. What's this? That's a guns. So wait, there's protected over there. There's wilderness over there. And there's a book here? What the heck? It's gone. I don't know where it went. Did I walk through it? Yeah, there it is. I have no idea what that says. All right. All right, well, let's just play the game. Stop dawdling. Do the thing the game wants me to do. What the? Okay. I'm not a fan of all these guns. They are making me uncomfortable. Protected wilderness. Okay. All right. 
All right, cool. So these I sort of get, right? The the notion of like being in shelter and protected and safe and being in the wild or things that maybe are more like interesting and, and exciting but dangerous. I like that the sounds for wilderness is like, it's still urban. Like the city streets, that's wilderness. I mean, so far we've chosen all of the more, like, aggressive words, right? Advance. Challenge. I think we're gonna go with wilderness. We'll, 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 let's, let's commit to the bit. Alright. Once again, I gotta look backwards in case there's anything weird. No, it doesn't seem to be. I don't know. Like, it, all this stuff is here. They put this in the environment on purpose, right? This is not, like... It doesn't just happen to be here. Everything in the game is in pur on purpose. And I have no idea. Like, I feel like I'm just supposed to walk by it and not pay attention. Like, I'm not getting anything from this being here. It's very weird. Unknown or known. Those are a lot more, like, blatantly... Blatantly... Opposites. Baseball bat. I gotta be honest, I expected a lot more walking through an abandoned mall and less walking through my mind. Huh. Very subtle. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's commit to the bit. Okay. That text actually lines up with that like distant voice we've been hearing. So yes, have we been hearing that voice the whole time? Is that what we heard in the mall? Are you ready? It's almost time. Guns. Guns, guns. Baseball bats, baseball bats. Something, probably. Probably something. That would make sense. I don't know what that is. Okay. Ah! Okay. I'm okay. I think that says I'm okay. It's very bright. Which is admittedly my fault, but still. I couldn't see. All right. I'm glad you're okay. Whoever you are. Well, walking backwards is like... Oh! Okay, just faded out. I don't know what the point of that was! Okay. Huh. I don't know what to do with that feeling. Like, presumably I've made some choices that might impact, like, stuff that happens later in the game, but it wasn't a, like, informed decision. I just kind of chose stuff. Um, and maybe later I'll be told like what the heck that was and it'll be like ah I was totally justified but right now it just seems arbitrary I don't know I don't know like I think it's okay to have stuff that's just kind of like hey this is weird right now but it'll pay off later but for the most part 
I don't know. I, I like to understand what the heck I'm looking at. Can I can I grab this? Oh, I set up the the phone cord. What number did I dial? Let's try another one. No? I only know one number. Um, thumping sounds? Not super fun. Turtles. They'll protect me. No, I'm not. I'm not answering that phone. You have a feeling it's watching you. Do I? In a universe full of opportunity, why not rewire yourself? Explore our variety of stores and widen your world here at Wilson. Should you encounter any issue during your time at our facility, please call the mall management office at 1-526-3748. Can I flip it? I can't flip it. What kind of walking sim is this? I think the world might not advance until I answer that phone, so I'm going to ignore it. Oh. Huh. What are my options here? M R. It's M C R, right? It's only M C R. Were any of those words M C R? I don't think so. I was gonna put in I'm okay because that's the right number of letters, but it won't let me. Huh. M C R. What do we have here? Z O E. Z O E. B W T. Hello. How are you doing, Navi? It's good to see you. W B T W B T Okay, so W B T Row. That's a word. Meb. Probably not. Pretty good, how am I? I'm doing excellent, but also kind of freaked out. <laughs> I am ignoring the game. <laughs> Cow. O H I O H I okay R T E okay R E S What game is this? This is Self-Checkout Unlimited. What's it about? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be wandering around an abandoned mall after hours. I woke up here. Did I fall asleep here? I don't know. <clears throat> but, um, there's like a voice in my head telling me stuff. One of the things was, hey, are you sure you want to go back there? Are you sure it's safe? Or something like that? And I was like, why would it not be safe? Um, and now I think maybe it's not safe. And also I'm, I'm playing with this instead of answering the phone. Like I, I'm sure the game wants me to. I'm sure that they'll just give me the password at some point. And it is just about filling it in. I'm not supposed to do a word puzzle. But also, it's probably not safe if they ha said something. Yeah, not wrong. And not gonna be the Z. It could be an E. Oh, maybe it's a TH.
I think I got it. I think I think I think the answer is mother. You know, the answer might not be mother. It might not be. Or I'm not supposed to get the answer yet, and they're mad at me for doing it, and they're not gonna give me the, the, the prize. I'm not sure which of those seems more likely. Anyway, someone was like banging on this. Oh. I wasn't, uh, th this wasn't closed when I came in. Alright. The store page assured me that this is not a horror game. It just has scary parts. Hello? What? What? Thank you for choosing Wilson Center Mall. We're always delighted to have you with us. Who are you? Hmm. I'm gonna just say... Hmm. Did you know our first holiday sale is happening this weekend? Don't forget to stop by the wide selection of stores and attractions we have for you. For our shoppers with a bold, fearless sense of style, we invite you to visit our newest apparel store, Conquer, located on the ground floor. Conquer. And remember, if you're ever experiencing difficulties inside the mall, please contact our management office. They will always be happy to assist you. We hope you have a wonderful shopping experience. Thank you. Okay, I don't know what any of that meant. Is the door open now? Yeah, it's just... This game is weird so far. I feel like I'm just... Like, things are changing the state, but not, like, organically. Is it daytime now? Is this the past? <laughs> is the mall still abandoned? All right, here's a directory. Birthday, Conquer, Think Again, Theater, New Adam. Deviations, Life, Childhood, Kindergarten, High School, College, Marriage, Middle Age, Old age. Death. Food court. Circuit 6. Offices. Circuit 7. And uh, then circuit 8. Yeah. Where am I? I was in birthday. That store was just called birthday? Okay, that's circuit 1. So circuit 8 is where I started. And there's just nothing there. There's like a bench. Huh. Navi says, you know, they don't put windows in the mall or other stores because they don't want the outdoors to influence you. Like, it's nice out. You'd rather be outside than inside. So, I'm going to guess it's still night. That's a good point. There's just lights on. Okay. Well, I guess I can... I'm going to check out the deviation block that's been like scribbled out what is that is there actually anything here no not really it is modeled though that's something I guess this is where we started the game No getting out this way. Can 
Can I still sit down? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna get off this bench. Okay, so we were in birthday. We could probably just go do them in order, I guess. I'm starting to think that this isn't a mall and that this is a metaphor or something. Like, maybe I had an accident, or I'm suffering some trauma. I don't know why I'm processing it this way. Circuit 2's over there, but Circuit 6 is the food court. I'm gonna check out the food court. Tetramorph. Kids love choosing their favorite character from the hit cartoon series, which teaches real world social dynamics. Eagle, lion, bull, or angel. Who's your favorite? One of these seems a. Uh... Bring the whole family by our Tetramorph rides today. Located on the first floor near Conquer. Thank you for shopping with us. This ad does not speak the truth. Okay. It doesn't really speak anything, though. Well, let's see where Conquer was. Oh! This is... Okay. Circuit 5, Circuit 3. Circuit 8. Is Circuit 8 like a tunnel? That would make sense. Yeah. Yeah, Circuit 8 is just kind of like a connector, I guess. There's like multiple of them. Alright, so they said it's near Conquer, which is that one there. Alright, let's go take a look at this uh, food court. That sound design's really good. <laughs> I I will say that. The sound design is excellent. Can I... Okay. I get why you can't jump. Like, people don't just do that, you know? If they let you jump in this game, it would be like... Half a foot at most. Because just like... That's how people jump. People just kind of hop. They don't really jump like they do in video games. So I, I I, think that's a reasonable choice. It's on the menu here. I don't know. Oh, we have a clock. This might not be a real clock, but if it were, it would be 20 to 12. The hand is moving. And I'm going to tell you... It's moving too fast. <laughs> Was this moving until I started looking at it? I don't know. I really thought something might was, might actually happen when it hit 12. Okay. Restroom. Restroom. Nope. Become who you are. Only at Wilson Center Mall. Tasty drink. Classic. Oh, I can interact with this one? Sadly, it doesn't seem to work. 
Maybe all the drinks. It's so fast. Maybe all the drinks were emptied out. Okay. I, I'm i already lost again. I know I didn't go to Conquer and I didn't go... Wilson Center Mall. Mall Management Office. So there's no feedback for me like trying that door and being locked. Because that's like a reasonable place to go. If you're in here in, in this situation. In your mind. So it's 12, basically. Because the... The 12 isn't moving, right? That's staying static. All right. My sound design is really, really excellent. I'm very taken with it. Thanks for choosing Wilson. We'll always be here for you. So... Do you think I am Wilson? Or I knew a Wilson? Did Wilson die? So if you were here, live, for the pre-show, which doesn't go up to YouTube, um... You know, I, I always try and draw a character from the game that I'm about to play, and I don't expect to ever meet a character in this game. I don't know what a character in this game would look like, so I drew a fountain. It's the main character of the game. <laughs> we made it. That balance seems a little bit too harsh if you're wearing headphones. Yeah. Alright, so do I just go to Conquer, or do I check it somewhere else first? I want to see if I can go anywhere else first. Thanks for choosing Wilson Center Mall. In order to provide a safe, enjoyable environment for all our guests, please adhere to the following guidelines for behavior in our shopping center. Smoking is prohibited. Weapon, weapons and disruptive behavior are not allowed. Dogs are not allowed, but cats are permitted. Do not open unidentified sarcophagi. Existential crises limited to one per person. The world may end at any moment. Nothing you see here was, is, or ever will be real. No loitering. Ah, dang it, I think I'm loitering. I didn't mean to loiter. You know what this mall needs? It needs more maps. I keep having to run back here to check it. Alright. So, yeah. That is Circuit 2, which is Conquer. Then I could slip by it to go and see if I can go through the, the path. I don't expect to go through Circuit 8, but I could try. Then there's Circuit 4, which is the theater. But if I go through the path, I could end over here and go to Circuit 3. Oh, can I get there from there? Oh, there's like a, there's stairs. Okay. Think again, theater, new Adam. Wait, is that stairs? There's like a... Next to the... There are stairs! I'm gonna check out the stairs. Yes! Do not enter out of service! Come on! I'm so short! Alright. This ad does not speak the truth. Okay, so... Around that corner, I think, is Conquer. So I think this way is Theater. Winter sale, 80% off, Wilson Center Mall. That was just like an actual normal thing. I mean, it's expensive, like a lot off. Oh, hello. Leave a little probability for the moon being made of green cheese. It can be as small as one in a million, but have it there, since otherwise, 
an army of astronauts returning with samples of the said cheese will leave you unmoved. Dennis Lidley. Wait, what? Leave a little probability for the moon being made of green cheese. It can be small as one in a million, but have it there, since otherwise, an army of astronauts returning with samples of the said cheese will leave you unmoved. I feel like if I was like, there's a 0% chance possible, it's, it's, it's completely unlikely that the moon is made of green cheese, and then it turned out to be made of green cheese, I think I'd be pretty surprised. I don't, what do you mean I'd be unmoved? I don't understand what that means. Also, I don't know what the content, like, why? I, regardless of what that means, why did you tell me that? Okay. It's not gating me as much as I expected it to. I really thought it was going to gate me and make me go to circuit two. So that's cool. Drank! Oh, I love drank. I wonder if this one has any drank in it. No, it doesn't. Okay. Oh, this kind of theater. A movie theater. Of course. I was like, why is there a theater in here? It's a movie theater. That's normal for malls to have. Alright, when did this game come out? I wonder if this is like a... I think this is a pre-COVID game. Social Rules. Angel Tech Productions. Oaks Festival? Angel Tech. That was one of the that was one of the the things, right? I wonder if that's gonna be all of them. Oh, what's it say on top? Angel Tech Productions, Healing the Sick, Official Selection Oaks Film Festival, 1990X. Okay, directed by Kuma Q. Greece. Like, like, like the, like the hit indie video game that I haven't played? Raising a Family, directed by John Sternum, music by Alexander Carter. Alright. Alright. Can't go in here, but I can look. Maybe that's how it's gating me. It's not going to gate the, like, open mall section, but it will gate that I can't go in. Patriot. What's that say? Indicardo para Mithor film. Okay. Angel Tech Productions. The Evil of Science, official selection, Oaks Film Festival, 1996. Hero of the Working Class, Angel Tech Productions, directed by Adrian Legrasso. Official selection, Oaks Film Festival, 1996. X. Did I say six last time? I might have. <laughs> Mispronounced X6. Alright, well, it seems like there's nothing else for it. Let's go where the game wants us to. How quickly I can run backwards? I think just about as quickly. Okay, cool. Become who you are only at Wilson Center Mall. Green Animal Shelter. Free Cat Adoption Month. That's a good cat. Eagle. Lion. Lion ride. Oh, I can't see what that says. Okay. Probably nothing important. Burb ride. Not eagle ride. This is the burb ride. Okay. Oh, change machine. I'm okay. You're not okay. I'm okay. You're not okay. Okay, I activated it. You know, I don't see an angel ride is something I'm noticing. Actually, wait a minute, there wasn't a bull ride either. Ah! Oh, okay.
Okay. Got it. Do you think this is changing them? Then why didn't it match what they previously were? No, it didn't change anything. Okay. I guess I see what they mean by it's not a horror game, right? It's gonna kind of creep you out because it's about processing trauma, but it's not about horror. It's not about scaring you all the time. It's just about dealing with stuff. Up to 80% off. Find your style sale. Huh. So I don't actually even go in here. Wow, I assumed I would. All right. Well, let's see if the uh, the circuit connects then. In that case, can I can I sit here? Hmm. Let's get off the bench. Nope, there's another gate. Hmm. Alright, where haven't I gone in that case? Burb. So that was the theater. That was the... Maybe something's down there? We went down that hall. I do kind of want to run back and take a look at the map, though. Just so I know what I'm walking into. You know... This is interesting. I'm not going to say this isn't an interesting idea for a game. Did I grow? Did I get taller? Am I taller now? No, I don't think so. Never mind. Okay. But, I guess it's just, it's not hitting my expectations. Like, I was thinking, like, very teen who actually went into an abandoned mall for fun and wandered around. Like that one seg segment in um, uh, Night in the Woods where you can go you can go to the mall and it's not actually abandoned. There's like three stores but most of it's shut down and you just walk around and talk. And like, I guess that's sort of the vibe I was expecting and this is not that vibe. Alright. Reality is a rogue... Rorschach. I always have to think about how that's pronounced. Reality is a Rorschach that every brain sees as the truth. Alright. Did that change the state of things? I saw it. I read the thing. Something this game has done to me is that it spooked me at the start. Which means now I'm on edge. Every time I like look into something dark, I sort of expect there to be a, another jump scare. Which is surprisingly effective. Like, if you want to make a horror game, you could do worse than spook someone real bad in the first five minutes and then not spook them again for the rest of the, the game. Like... Yeah, we know that... We know that... A really successful horror strategy is making you scared there's going to be a scare, right? Like, cool. Interesting. That's a good way of doing it. Is actually deliver. I guess. I guess. Seems to be. Alright. 
So, circuit 8 was blocked off. I'm in circuit 4 right now. Was the other circuit 8 also blocked off? Yeah, must yeah, must have been. I actually have no idea where to go. And circuit 7, I couldn't open that door. That would that that's the the management office. Huh. I feel like I should be interacting with more stuff. Maybe. Like, the, the game didn't proceed until I interacted with that phone originally. I haven't noticed things to interact with, but maybe I just haven't been like, going up to stuff. Weird. Very weird. We still have about like seven, eight minutes left of our time slot. So I don't think I need to start going into my final thoughts yet, but I am going to start sort of percolating on them. And I've already shared a few of them, right? Like, this is an interesting game. I don't think they're pulling the wool over anyone's eyes. Like, they're not trying to. They're being kind of explicit that this is like a weird trauma vision or something. And as such, I don't know why that wasn't on the tin. Like, I feel like that should have been... You didn't need to hide that from me until I started playing. And I feel like they did. Maybe they didn't. Maybe I just didn't read enough about the game. But I feel like they sort of didn't tell me that ahead of time. And that affected my perception. And that's the main sort of critique I have. Is that perception's important. And I still want to play the game where I'm a, a, you know, a mall goth and I go wander around a mall. Like, <laughs> like, this is cool, but it's not that game, and now I want to play that game instead of this game. That's, <laughs> that, that's the only problem with the game so far. <laughs> also, I'm lost. I have actually no idea where to go. Can I pick something up? I guess I'll just keep skimming. I feel like I'm playing an adventure game and I'm just scrubbing the screen now because I don't know where to go. They, maybe there's a puzzle. You know what? There was probably a puzzle with the, that change machine and I just ignored it. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, this is probably a puzzle and I just walked away from it. I'm okay. You're not okay. Oh, hey! I didn't see this. Okay. All new Tetramorphs. Which one are you? Stubborn Bull is firm like Earth. He doesn't trust others, but he doesn't always trust himself either. Proud Eagle is untouchable like air. She believes in her own wings, but not in any other animal. Gentle Angel is fluid like water. They don't like to take charge, but they'll support a good leader. Mighty Lion is a regal, is regal like fire. He's confident in his own power, but trusts his friends to lead too. Find your place. Teaching real world social dynamics for kids of all ages. Tetramorphs airs 4 to 5 p.m. CT. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, on WCM Network. Wait, WCM Network? Wilson Center Mall has its own network? Did I already know that? Okay. Okay, this is a puzzle. I get it. Alright, sure. Um, there's four of them. I mean, I could just try that order. Yeah, sure, let's just try that order, see what happens. Alright, uh, that's bull, eagle, angel, lion. Okay, I kind of didn't think it would be that simple. Firm like earth, so maybe like as a foundation. Doesn't trust others, doesn't always trust himself either. Proud eagle's untouchable like air. 
He believes in their own wings, but not in any other animal. So maybe they need to be like next to an angel because an angel is not an animal. Flew like water. They don't like to take charge, but they'll support a good leader. Mighty lion is regal like fire. He's confident in his own power. Trusts his friends to lead too. No, I actually have absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to do here. I do feel like I'm supposed to do something. So that's... That's good. I just made them all angels. I am not okay. Wait, this changed. I'm okay, you're not okay. I'm okay, you're okay. This is probably always said this, and I just wasn't paying attention. Gotcha. Okay. I just, I literally thought they all said, I, I'm okay, you're not okay. But no, they don't. They say, I'm okay, you're not okay. I'm okay, you're okay. I'm not okay, you're not okay. I'm not okay, you're okay. Alright, so... I'm okay, you're not okay. That is the verb. We know this. I'm okay, you're okay is... I think probably the lion. I'm not okay, but you are okay is the angel. And I'm not okay, you're not... You're okay. No. I'm not okay... No, I, I mixed these two up. There it is. Once I realized there was a puzzle, it wasn't hard. question is, do I walk in? Do I see what happens? Do I end there? Or do I end here on the edge of going in? I feel like I have a decent amount I want to talk about. So let's talk about it and then see where we end up. Um, puzzles. For some reason, my brain didn't look at that puzzle and go, oh, this is clearly a puzzle. I should solve this before continuing. My brain looked at that puzzle and went, Oh, this is like a weird thing I can interact with. Okay. And then I left. Which is interesting. Because, you know, yeah, it's a walking sim. There have been so many things in this game that haven't felt like they had a purpose, right? So my re reaction to seeing a puzzle and not going, oh, this is a puzzle, I need to do this before I continue, feels warranted. Like, it, it didn't force me to do the puzzle. It didn't make it clear to me it was a puzzle. To be fair, I missed that piece of paper and stuff like that, but still. And it's interesting, because I don't know how much this is supposed to be a puzzle game. I don't think there's, like, a lot of puzzles, right? There's, like, a couple puzzles in this game, maybe. And... Because of that, I'm not going to identify them as a puzzle, necessarily. Maybe I will from here on, but I didn't at that point. And by letting me leave, by saying, hey, you can keep exploring, it, it did not put me in a position where I thought, I need to do this. If they had locked me in there, if they were like, you can't leave till you do this puzzle... I'm sure I would have found the solution much faster. I don't know. It's just like an interesting thing about like leading the player, right? Because obviously it's not supposed to be like, this is a super hardcore challenging game. We're not going to hold your hand. Like, no, this is hold your hand simulator, right? Like, hold my hand. I'm okay with it. I'm going to walk in and see if anything happens. 
We've already read the, uh, the stuff. Mannequins. Shirts. Shirts by color. This mannequin aims to please. Wait, are these, are they all going to have descriptions? No. Okay. This mannequin aims to please. Do they all aim to please? I still don't know who's saying that. Like, that's not my character talking. Because, I mean, it's like probably my brain telling me something. Because it's not a... This, this isn't real. But, you know. If we assume it is real, like, I don't know who that's supposed to be. You belong here. There's a spot made just for you. Only at Conquer. Changing rooms. Well. It stubbornly refuses to work. Do my parents want me to get a job at a mall? <laughs> and I stubbornly refuse to work? That's relatable. <laughs> I, that's probably not what they're going for. Some very elaborate hallucination if that's what it is clearance need to find your true look just organize the clothes to fit your self-perception low rung where you where are you high rung this uh this might be another puzzle all right cool well i think that brings us to the end of an hour with self checkout unlimited and um i think breakfast king nailed it right at the beginning when uh when they said self checkout is that just looking in the mirror yeah yeah i think it is which is cute it's a, it's a very cute interesting idea for a game i don't know why they would decided that they needed to scare me at the beginning of the game I feel like they might have started off with maybe the wrong tone, depending on what the rest of this game plays like. That said, I don't know what the rest of the game plays like. <laughs> I've only played an hour. On the other hand, yeah. It's... I think if you go into this game going, oh, this is what the game's about? Cool. You're probably going to have a pretty good time. It is cool. It is interesting. You can run also, which is nice. You're not going to have to slog through this whole place like I am. Um, yeah. Yeah. Still leaves me hoping to find an abandoned mall simulator that isn't a metaphor. I think that sounds like a fun idea for a game. <laughs> All right. That brings us to the end of an hour with self-checkout unlimited. I've been Darcy Bits. This has been part of Hidden Gems and Other Oddities. And I'll catch you next time. Have a good night. Have a good night.